some of the rulers you need to work with are calibrated in decimal inches not fractional inches okay what the heck is a decimal inch I'll show you and you'll see I'll, I'll put them on the under the ammo when these ones are calibrated in just wait for the camera to focus tenths fiftieths and tens and hundredths of an inch okay that's what I mean there are no fractions there is no quarter inch forget about it so I'm gonna switch the light off and put this one underneath the ammo I have a text here about some metals don't worry about the actual text we're gonna be taking some measurements just give me a sec here so let's start with tenth with tenths of an inch let's see how about I'm just gonna have to make sure that you can see what I what I look at how about uh, the letter O in the word transformation let's estimate the width of the letter O in the word transformation let's see how is that in your field yeah it's still somewhat in it okay I'm just gonna move a little bit there that would be the letter O in transformation you can see it's a little less than one tenth of an inch that's how this system works you can see that the whole inch has been divided instead of 16 parts or 8 parts or 32 64 or 128 parts the whole inch this is one inch it has been divided into 10 parts here's a standard ruler next to it uh, you can see that one inch is one inch there and that was a fractional ruler right here so so that you have 10 parts to an inch so that would be 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 well that would be 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 inches there are no fractions other than these decimals but decimals are fractions so these are decimal fractions or just simply decimals there are no usual traditional fractions that you are used to on fractional uh, imperial or inch based rulers so to measure say the width of this washer would be I'm just slide it a little there that would be its diameter it would be somewhere between now uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.75 is a reasonable estimate 0 0.75 that probably rings a bell it's a 3 quarter inch washer 0 0.75 you can see how it lines up between the 7 and the 8 somewhere there halfway and the size of the hole on the inside the inside diameter let me see where is the 1 inch would be that would be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and a little bit uh, a little bigger than 0 0.3 that's all we can see with the with the scale but that's how the scale works okay that's what I mean by decimal inches 0.3 and, and change the next increment that I want to show you is uh, the hundreds hundreds of an inch let's see let's let's pick a dot how about let's pick a dot on the word martensite, martensitic and let's see what we can do with that dot I'm intentionally not using the very edge of the ruler I'm taking measurement in field because lining up the edge of a ruler is painstaking or nerve-wracking or extremely finicky so one hundredth of an inch is so small it's really really pushing the idea of visibility seriously that would be the dot of an eye on the word martensite you know I'm, I'm gonna flip this ruler around there so you can see the eye but now you can't see the numbers on the ruler so I'm gonna go a little further down just get me a sec here 
went there. It's so finicky, it's sticking to my fingers. There. That would be it. Okay. The ruler here that's calibrated in one hundredth of an inch means that every every increment on it is one hundredth of an inch. And you can see that the line marks, the paint on the line mark is so wide that it's actually wider then the remaining black part that is the material of the ruler. Let me just zoom in a little closer. There you can see. I'm trying not to make you dizzy. It kind of looks like a piano. You can see that the the black, there's less black between the whites. There's so many white lines that the black is barely visible. So that's the dot in the word Martensite. You can still see that one. And to take a measurement, you would need to line up the edge of the dot with a center line of one of the measurement lines, and the other edge of the dot would end wherever it does end. And uh, we can approximate with this one that this from the center line of this line to the center line of this line, we have a distance of one hundredth of an inch, and we can estimate that this width of a dot is not entirely two hundredths of an inch but one and uh, three quarters one and three quarters hundredths of an inch well anyhow that's how the scale works that's how you can take measurements those are the limitations of it to measure the size of a, of an, of a dot on an eye is uh, not is although is a visible target but it is extremely difficult to take an accurate reading on a, on a ruler with one hundredth of an inch. But that would be the idea. And you can see that the numbers, even though they are upside down, so that's five, six, seven, and eight, so we're going that way now. That's seven. That's, that's point seven, point seventy one, seven, point seventy two, point seventy three, point seventy four, point seventy five, and five is a little longer. 0 0.76, 0 0.78, 0 0.79, 0 0.80. You can see that's how the numbers go on it. They are small, they are extremely difficult to see, but, uh, but the scale and the math in reading is fairly straightforward. Okay, let me zoom out and we'll take a look at the 50th of an inch, which is this one. Let's go back to the same word, martensite. Let's measure the width of the letter M for a starter. How about there? The width of the letter M seems to be as is, just one tenth of an inch. Let's make or pretty close to one tenth of an inch. Right, that's pretty spot on actually. I just make it. Ah, oh, that's too much. Okay. There. So, let me just check my frame. Good, I have the numbers in it. Okay. These are 50th of an inch. I just slide it a little bit up. Just like so. They're 50th of an inch. So, this would be 0.1 and 0.2. And this would be 0 0.1, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 lines, that's 5 increments. 1 increment, 2, 3, 4, 5 increments, or 5 jumps. So we have to go from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2, uh, that would be 0 0.12, 0 0.14, 0 0.16, 0 0.18, 0 0.20, 0 0.20. Okay, that makes sense. A 50th of an inch will be a 0.2. Point, point zero point zero two in decimal format. That's a fiftieth of an inch. And uh, and uh, let me see. Let me pick the letter O on it in the word transformation. Let's see how wide that one is in terms of fiftieth of an inch. I just want to measure the hole. How about that? Uh, the hole inside the 
O in transformation. There, let's let's do that one. Uh, we start here and we finish there. So that would be two increments. Two increments. Every increment is a fiftieth of an inch. So that's one fiftieth, two fiftieths. Two fiftieths is nice, but what do we do with a fraction that doesn't really work so well? So one fiftieth is zero point zero two. So that's 0 0.02, 0 0.04, 4 hundredth of an inch, okay? The size of the hole, you don't know, with this type, size, I don't know, uh, Calibri or whatever it is, uh, font size 11 or 0.11 or whatever it is, it's the, uh, the hole in the letter O has a size of 4 hundredth of an inch because every 50th is the same as 0 0.02, 200. So you have 200, 400. If you want to do equivalent fractions, 1 50th, 2 50th, 2 over 50 is the same as 4 over 100. 4 over 100 is easy to write, so there's your 0 0.04, 400. Let's measure something else. One, one last thing. How about the same, uh, the coin? Something about this coin. Here's this coin. Uh, it's got some. What do we measure on this coin? Uh, let's measure the size of zero on 2005. Let's see. No, that's about the same one. That's not good. Let's measure the whole coin. Let's zoom out a little bit. No, if you measure the whole coin, then uh, I can't put it under the camera. All of it. But maybe we can manage it. Let's measure the whole coin. I lined up there. I lined up the edge of the coin carefully to line up with that inch mark there. Let me zoom in. There. You can see that that alignment is perfect. So that this this is our zero now. So we have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.678. Uh, Let's see, 0 0.8, not entirely 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.82, 84, 86, 0 0.88 88 inch. Now, this is not a caliper, this is not the, pro the normal way of measuring diameter, okay, with a ruler. No, you would need a caliper, a vernier caliper or something, or a micrometer to do this, but this is just making sense of the scale on the ruler, okay? So. Uh, just ignore the fact that it's a diameter I'm trying to measure because I have no way of telling whether it, it's shorter than a diameter or it actually is the diameter. I don't know if that's the center of the coin. There's no way of telling. So, but the reading is as is 0 0.88 inches. So that's 88 hundredths of an inch. That's how the numbers go. 80, 82, 84, 86, 0 0.88. One more thing, uh, how about the size of the hole in this washer? Let's see, we didn't get a good reading on that one when when I had it on with the tenths of an inch. So, let me just... I, I don't want a background, I want a wide background to it. And again, this is not the way to measure diameter. But I just want to measure something here quick. There, let's see what we have here. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.32. 32 hundredths of an inch is the diameter on the, on the, that, that's the inside diameter on this washer, because that's how the numbers go. 0 0.32, that's, that's all there is to it. So that's how to use these rulers.